So I have for you a list of do's and don'ts in real estate, and I'm just gonna kind of go down the list and let's see what your thoughts are. Don't shop for realtors with the lowest commission. You know, you're gonna get what you pay for. It's like toilet paper, tattoos, taxidermy, airlines, the list goes on and on. You truly get what you pay for. So by just going on Facebook and being like, hey, who's the cheapest realtor? You're gonna get the cheapest realtor and you're gonna get the cheapest service. So do not shop by that. If you find a good agent, it should be by references, their qualifications, and if you're a good match with them. And honestly, some of my best clients never even ask what I charge. Do not search for your realtor by their commission rate. Don't shop without getting pre-approved. And I mean like recently. Your pre-approval from two years ago, it does not mean that you can buy today. You may have a different job. Rates are completely different. Um, the market and economy is completely different. So make sure that you refresh that pre-qual and it could be very easy if you've worked with the same lender over and over. You just need to tell them that you need to refresh it and update your info. Do not listen to everyone but your agent. That is like a pet peeve of mine. Why are you hiring me if you're not gonna listen to me? Another thing is you should get an inspector that knows their stuff and is qualified. Don't get somebody that is on your crew, Uncle Bob, um, your neighbor down the road. They're gonna try to impress you and things from 40 years ago is not applicable to today. Wyoming doesn't really have a law on inspectors, so you need to do your due diligence in this area and make sure that they know their stuff. Buyers, please do not talk to every agent in town. You need to pick one, but if you choose to talk to every agent in town, no one's gonna end up working for you. You need to stay loyal to one so that they can advocate on your behalf. If you don't, you're just gonna be in a hot mess. This one is a classic and I'm hearing it a lot lately, especially for first time home buyers. And they are saying they are saving for a huge down payment, which is good. I mean, you wanna put a lot of money down so maybe you don't have to pay PMI, but they're saving for a down payment so they can do a conventional loan. Right now, I would say 99% of my buyers are doing FHA when they could do conventional because the rates are lower. You should talk to your lender if this is your MO because you are not gonna save money by going conventional. And do you really think it's worth it to throw all of your cash and your cash flow into the loan? Maybe it's not. Talk to your lender, have an open dialogue so you can figure out what is best for you. Conventional and saving for that big down payment is a thing of the past and it worked 40 years ago. It is not necessarily true for today. Sellers, this may sound like a really big no brainer, but let me tell you, there are so many homes that are not clean when I show them. So clean your houses. It's something I can't do for you as your agent. Clean it every day, make your bed, vacuum the rug. It's crazy what a little bit of effort on your part will do to get a quicker sale. Here's for all of you DIYers and Pinterest people. I love it too myself, but don't do a big remodel unless you're sure that you will get your money's worth out of it. Because worst case scenario, you spend a lot of money on it and then you don't get it back out. It's really gonna bum you out. So I highly suggest talking to your agent before you dive deep into all of those remodels and do it yourself things. Make sure you talk to them and see if it's really gonna benefit you because maybe you don't even have to do it. That's it for this week's do's and don'ts of real estate. I will start a new list for next time. Make a comment if any of these hit home for you or if you have a do or don't for me to talk about. Catch you on the next one.